Well, hello here, YouTube. This is a, a little video about electrolysis rust removal with any battery charger. Um, got that Harbor Freight charger, which is a smart charger. Well, they say, you know, you can't do it with those smart chargers because they won't short out. Well, you can see it over there. Well, what I did was I've got an old dead battery that is, uh, uh, won't hold the charge. It's only like, uh, uh, was like six volts or something like that and I hooked the battery charger up to the battery and I'm running the electrolysis off the battery I've got this old stove wood stove coal stove that uh, has got an oven and everything and I want to uh, get this cleaned up and paint it I'm going to put this on the patio you can see the uh, the coal shakers and stuff in there Anyway, it's, uh, I put this in my wheelbarrow, which was the biggest thing I had, and uh, I'm doing half of it right now. I don't want to tip it out to show you uh, what it's like. I'm going to be taking it out in a little bit. I've got to go run some errands, but I wanted to start this video at least. And uh, here, let me show you. Uh, I've, got a, uh, I've got a meter over here, and let me see here. This meter's a little touchy. doesn't work very well, but we're going to take the uh, the positive over here and we're going to take and dip it in the water we can see the battery here we'll do it over here maybe you can see both of them here let's see what happens when we put the put it in the water we got 6.1 volts going through the water you see all the foam and the bubbles well look at that huh isn't that amazing you see i have this theory that uh I'm gonna have to position this in a wheelbarrow a certain way, but I have this theory, supposing you had a big metal container, like an old oil tank or something, so long as it didn't leak. And if you use the oil tank as the, as the anode or whatever, the one that you want to attract the rust, I might have those confused because I don't have this uh, all in front of me. And you wouldn't even need any of these, uh, you wouldn't need brake drums or anything, you just stick it full and submerge the whole thing and just have a rod sticking up and you could cl clamp the whole thing and, and all you have to do is set it on top of some plastic or some pvc or something at the bottom so it doesn't touch the barrel and the whole thing the the actual drum could be used to uh to attract the rust and hold the the, the water so but i mean you know i'm making do with what i have i'm going to position this the best way i think i can get it in the wheelbarrow for now and I'm going to hook it back up. But wow, look at the difference from there to there. And this is like no work. This is, well, I wouldn't say no work. You've got to actually get it in the container. But look at that. Amazing. Okay, so I got this back in the water and the solution. There's, a, what is this? There's a, a washing soda. Basically, it's not, uh, it's not uh, baking soda. It's washing soda. Uh, it's relatively cheap, like four bucks a box. I guess what you need is about a tablespoon per gallon, you know, give or take. More doesn't necessarily do a better job. The big deal, um, and as far as uh, cathodes and anodes and all that, that's not whether, you know, whether I got those mixed up or not, it doesn't really matter. The important thing to remember is that rust is going to go to the positive. Okay, so just make sure that you got the thing that you want to be cleaned, hooked up to negative. And you got the thing that you want to accept the rust hooked up to the positive so basically this is the deal here this is back in the solution um that's probably just some paint or something looks like that'll come off easy but this is going to get turned one more time to try to get the top in at some point because i'm getting now the bottom portion and i'm going to let it sit there today until tomorrow and uh, boy look at that action i just put this in a couple of minutes ago so we're going to get this all cleaned up going to get it painted going to get the base that's over there okay just flip this thing over gosh i mean look at this it was all rusty and uh now it's all black look at this look at this side over here i mean beautiful um i've had this now on three different sides because uh i'm trying to get the whole thing done and that's the only piece that's in the water that needs to be finished here check out these these anodes all this rust that's gone to the to the brake drums so now i just got to position this back into the water and uh i gotta get those anodes back in there and uh we're not going to touch the metal 